Alright, um, like I said, I have it on a uh, super duper clean setting right now. Let's kick this sucker off a standby and give you guys a listen. Now, uh, to all you non-believers out there who don't think a Jet City amp can get nice shimmering cleans, here's to you. Presence is good for you. Remember, kids. <laughs> so, keeping the same settings, I'm going to boost up the gain and uh, let you guys have a listen to a uh, higher gain. Okay. The gain was at about uh, at like 0.5. Now, it's about 4, 4 and a quarter. So, uh, a little bit of buzz. Uh, yeah, no big deal. Just play loud, play hard, no worries. Also, uh, if you're worried about uh, tenants or whoever uh, giving you a hard time, uh, you can turn the volume down. So, For cleans, I normally have the volume at around 3-ish. Uh, but if I'm going for more of a high gain tone, I put it down to like 2, maybe 1.5. Here it is at 1.5. not all the gain we got folks. This is just like a medium gain setting. So let's uh, put it up to uh, oh, about seven. That's normally uh, the range I like. Yes, I know that Cumbersome has played bar chords. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's get crazy and crank the gain all the way to fuck out. Yeah. Here it is, full gain.
work on uh, playing some more. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Dial the game back down. Volume back up. That's uh, my quick and dirty demo of uh, my trusty Dean and my lovely uh, Jet City 20 watt combo. For 300 bucks and some change, uh, you definitely can't go wrong with the combo. It does what it should, does what it needs, and uh, the one thing that I am worried about uh, with that combo, obviously, like a lot of people, is uh, being able to quickly switch between uh, drive settings. And uh, like I said, you could just have your gain set where you want it and then just adjust with the volume knob on your guitar or you could uh, get a uh, some kind of distortion box like a boost pedal or something there's also uh, the you know the dual channel uh, 20 watt combo that's going to be coming out uh, later this year uh, you could invest in that uh, there's also the 50 watt version which is already out which has a dual channel and I think it's a 212 combo memory serves. It's a 50 watt 212 combo. Uh, that's pretty nice. Um, I think that retails for around 800 though. So if you're looking for a uh, quick and easy and cheap fix, uh, my suggestion would just be get a distortion box and uh, have at her. As far as pros and cons with the, with the guitar, definitely can't go wrong with the Dean. You know, it, as long as you get a set neck Dean, you're pretty much good to go. You know. And, uh, yeah, you might need a setup, and the electronics might be a little jacked up, but, you know, you just can't beat the feel of a Dean neck. You just can't beat it, man. Slap on some Grover tuners so you, like, hardly ever have to tune this thing. Like, this is the first time i played this guitar in weeks. Didn't even tune it up. Just pff, plugged it in and went. I mean, <laughs> it's been sitting in my closet the whole time, so, I mean, you know, you can't go wrong. Um, but as far as electronics go, yeah, you can change them out. It's no big deal. Definitely thinking about getting uh, new pickups. Um, some candidates I'm thinking about are the uh, some DiMarzio, the uh, Deactivator X, in the bridge, which is the uh, kind of their active version of the X2N pickup, which is their highest gain pickup. Pretty damn awesome. Uh, and then in, in the neck. Um, Debating between a lot of uh, different neck pickups, maybe just getting a, uh, I don't know, either like a Seymour Duncan 58 or whatever their normal neck pickup is. I think it's a 58 or a Jazz. Either that or just get uh, the Marzio uh, deactivator, the regular deactivator for the neck. Neck. <laughs> Not bridge. Neck. <laughs> if I want to spend a little more money, definitely get some new electronics. Um, probably... Uh, Switch to just a master volume, get rid of the uh, extra volume and tone knob, because I honestly don't use them. Not too many people do. Just whatever. Make like a kill switch or something. Whatever works, bro. And uh, maybe get a nice uh, Graphtech bridge, matching nut. You know, I I I'm just uh, gassing right now. Getting some uh, gear acquisition syndrome. <laughs> Whatever. So, uh, yeah, I'm rambling on. This video's long as hell, but uh, I'm gonna part down for you guys. Um, so, I'll end things here. This is the Andy Son, signing off for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in and uh, for rating, commenting, subscribing, telling a friend or two about my channels and videos. <laughs> and, uh, as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.